working for. Life, you get what you put in. You're just like shopping, you get what you pay for. Nobody cared that you did good deeds. Nobody cared that you got a kind heart. Nobody cared that you're nice. It's not how you get rewards. You get rewards from hard work. No hard work, no rewards. You get what you put in in life. Grind, keep pushing. Consistency, determination. God, Allah, the universe, whatever you believe in, don't work like that. It's not a magic wand. You gotta put the work in. I can't say it don't hurt, but I'll be damned if I'm broken. I can't say it don't hurt to lose, but I'll be damned if I allow it to break. Me. I can't say it don't hurt to be let down. I can't say it don't hurt to fail. I can't say it don't hurt when things don't go my way, when my business is not growing. I can't say it don't hurt, but I be damned if it break me. Pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, keep pushing. Every season, quitters never win. They never win, and winners never quit. Every season, the mindset to overcome every struggle and obstacle that life throws your way. Begin to appreciate him so much and love him so much because he saved my life. The environment that we grew up in, the things I've seen, the things I was around, if it wasn't for his teaching, if it wasn't for his protectors, if it wasn't for his guidance, if it wasn't for his information, I probably wouldn't be here right now. I probably would be in the pen. I probably would be lost mentally. I probably would be dead. Growing up on 96, growing up in Oakland was rough. Difficult overall. Yeah. Not a lot of opportunities. You come outside, you see killings, you see gang violence, you see drug dealing, you see prostitution. It's a lot of different avenues you can go down. But my daddy didn't allow it. Even when I tried it, I'd be at dice games. He'd come pull up. People would tell my son, your daddy coming. I tried it. You know, we didn't, we, we, he tried his best. Growing up, I seen him. I seen him do everything: sell dope, pimp, entrepreneur, whatever it was. He he tried it all. But then when he gave his life to God, it probably was around the wrong time. I would say it was when I was in high school. It was like, damn, now you don't got the money. I got three dollars to go to lunch. God, damn. I was happy if I got five dollars. So. Yeah. I just appreciate him for his teachers and things yeah. like that. And uh, yeah. a lot of times he would try to say like, "I'm about to get married," or "This is who this person is," and things like that. And I would never take him serious due to the fact that he dealt with so many women. And I felt like some good women he messed up, and some women that I didn't see it in he valued too much. So I want to apologize to you. I may not have paid you enough attention. I may not have took your relationship as serious as I should have. But it's just my experience with my dad. <laughs> but for him to take this step and to be this serious in the way he value you and the way he look at you, I'm going to take it serious. Mm. So I apologize. <laughs> and, uh, my dad is like one of the greatest, the greatest person I ever met. With all his flaws, it's like he like a cat with nine lives. Probably more than nine, honestly. We passed nine at this point. We didn't deal with almost overdoses, car accidents, Ooh, shootings, tell it, uh, lupus. <laughs> you name it. It's like he just continued to bounce back. So my brain is called every season, but he, he might be the real every season. <laughs> he might be the, the real mindset to overcome every strength and obstacle that life throws your way. He's the real quitters never win. So I just appreciate him for being a, a good example because I know a lot of, I got a lot of friends who didn't have that example. They had to learn on their own and things like that. And 
I may not have listened when I was a kid, but now that I'm adult, all the information that comes back to me. I know how to move in life. I know how to be wise. I know how to think things through. I know how to to not risk my life with one decision. Like I, I, I watched my dad. Like growing up, being where I'm from, a lot of people can't go to certain areas. I watched my dad go to North Oakland. I watched my dad go to West Oakland. I watched my dad go to Richmond. I watched my dad go to all these different cities and be comfortable, be cool because he got a pass because of how he carried himself or a certain respect or a certain certain thing he did for a certain person. And I wanted to be the same way. I don't I don't want to not be able to go nowhere. So I knew. I knew how to carry myself. I knew how to be as a man. And I just appreciate him for that because now it's like Certain people look up to me, certain people try to figure out how I move the way I move or how I, I, I look at life the way I look at life. And it's all because of him. And he he complained a lot because I don't call him as much and I don't talk to him as much. It's because I got enough information. <laughs> I remember it all. So again, I don't want to be up here for too long, but again, I apologize to you. Congratulations to y'all. And I'm doing my best to get to know you the best I can and wow. respect y'all relationship.